Hey guys, it's me Taylor and um thank you for watching the vlog. The um vlog when we went to the farm and we had we went to the like um uh, the what was it called again? Black Dirt Farm Collective. No, when we went to the tree. The witness tree? We went to the witness tree and here's a um picture from Instagram with all of us. Here we the farm, we went to East End and um, we went to the gas station real quick to go get some like snacks and stuff because we were like really hungry. And then while we were about to go in, we asked um, someone, uh, um, someone, um, do you know where any um, black owned restaurants are here? And he said no. So we went back to Salisbury and we looked for um, black owned restaurants and there was this one and there was two of them and both of them were closed because it was Sunday. So we were like, <gasps> and then when we were at Easton, we were like, Ugh. it's really close. I'm trying y'all, trying. It's crazy. We're gonna get it though. Another place, huh? Sunday and Monday. Sunday and Monday. All right. At least we know where it is, I guess. So we went to Salisbury and we found this black-owned market. We had no idea that we had a black-owned market. It had everything you need for your home, like spices, pasta, fruits and veggies like eggplants, cucumbers, tomatoes, red peppers, um, jalapenos, something that looks like bananas, red onions, carrots, lime, and some of those banana like things. It was, it was so hard, so the next day, we um, went back to the place for um, lunch, and yay, it was open. So, um, so basically in this vlog, which I think Taylor and Sky already kind of like did an introduction and kind of like commentary, but um, we tried to find some black owned businesses that we could support in our own community. And it was really, really hard, like really, really hard. Um, we tried to find some restaurants, some grocery stores, and you know, we were a bit successful here in our hometown. Hold on, the air just came on. We found two restaurants. Um, the first day we went, it was not open, and we got so frustrated because we stopped in another small town first to try to find a restaurant. We couldn't find any black owned. We couldn't find anywhere online that we could find those restaurants. And even the apps like um, Where Are You and there's another one, I forgot the name of it, but I'll put the um, logos here so you can know what I'm talking about. Um, there was another one and most of those apps were for like major cities, like major cities where I live, Washington DC and Baltimore, but we weren't near those cities. So we couldn't find anything for the surrounding cities where we live. The next day, which was Monday, we went back to one Jamaican spot, which was open. The other one was closed. So I'm so happy we finally found a restaurant and it was really good. And it's so funny because you guys were like, <laughs> in one of the vlogs, you guys were like, do you guys feed Taylor Sky like some soul food? We ate a lot of good food at that Jamaican spot. We had I'll let Taylor Sky tell you what we had. <laughs> Reggae Soul Cafe. And it's Jamaican. It's a Jamaican um, restaurant. And it's black owned. And there's a lot of good stuff. This is the menu. And that's all the choices. There's some on the back. So we have curry chicken. We had another chicken. We had jerk chicken. I'm trying to see if I can find one of them. So we had curry, 
curry rice too. It's so confusing because curry, curry chicken and curry rice. I think curry is a season. So whatever they put that season on, they can call it that. So they had curry seasoning on the chicken and they had curry season on the rice. Is that why it was yellow? Yes. And sweet potatoes and cabbage and curry rice and Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. And sweet potatoes. Sweet, I, I already said sweet potatoes. Oh. So, I liked um, the um, cabbage. Dad um, fed it to me. And um, I like the, um, I liked it, the curry chicken. Liked. I like the curry chicken. So, Taylor, she had bun um, strawberry banana. And it was kind of like a shake, so. And mommy, she had um, like, it's kind of like a milkshake, but it's a type of soda. And daddy had, can we go get some more? Yeah. yeah. I want some of that cabbage, it was good, right? I want the fruit punch, I'm drinking that all without a top on it. <laughs> oh, you're living on the edge. <laughs> So I'll insert some footage of us at the restaurant here. So I hope you guys enjoy it. That Miss Guy has to use the <laughs> Taylor, are you still cold? Yeah. So, um, my, actually, my aunt introduced me to Jamaican food uh, a couple of years back, so I've been eating Jamaican food uh, a number of times with her. And uh, it's always good food. Um, I think it's good to explore different options as well. Um, it was good for the girls to try uh, cabbage and curry goat and, and, and jerk chicken, stuff that they wouldn't primarily see. Um, anything's better than McDonald's or Burger King or, you know, the nuggets and the type of meat that you don't even know what you're eating. So it's good to venture out. It's a good trip. <laughs> they actually try some things that they would have never tried like the cabbage I don't think they've ever had cabbage before so yeah I need to learn how to make it because it's so good like oh my gosh like so good um so that restaurant is actually owned by a black it's a, a couple I think it's a husband and wife I think um own the spot we went to and they're Jamaican American so um yeah we were just really proud about that the owners weren't there that day because of course I wanted to like interview them or something but they weren't there so I'll have to go back another time so I can interview them um and just to let you guys know I don't want our vlogs to immediately just become like buy black buy black buy black but you guys our vlogs this is real life so you know since the whole shootings murders of our black men being aired all over the internet and the media i mean this is our life so if you see a sudden change in our content it's because we are this is for real like this is filmed the day before and post the day after so you guys are i mean we're living our life so the content definitely changed. Like I said, um, my first vlog was supposed to be my trip, road trip to New Orleans. But I just didn't feel right posting that as the first episode of this vlog of season two. Um, I was like, no, we got to do it bigger. So that's why the farm video was the first one. Um, because yes, we've been angry about everything. But we're thinking long term. Like we're not going to be, you know... Being a part of this whole like boycotting and marches and stuff. We're not going to be a part of that because we don't. I mean there's a 
there's a lane for everybody and our lane is not a march our lane is thinking bigger back to the basics like i said with food supporting our black businesses because that's where it's going to change like we just need to stop focusing on other people and focus on us we don't need we don't have a a point to prove to anyone except us i just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know that you may see a a change in content but this is our real life and um we were i've already been aware of what's happening always been aware but i am i'm more aware today <laughs> like these last sets of murders really have just it made me realize like I need to do more for my community and I have a platform I always knew I had a platform for more than just hair like it's bigger than that and I'm gonna use it to our our advantage not the Bex but everybody um, since we've been talking a lot about black this black that support us black businesses the girls are like I think they were a bit overwhelmed so we also wanted to have a talk with them to make sure that they understood what was happening. We went to the farm. I kept on, and I even looked back at the footage and I was like, oh my God, I think I'm confusing my kids. <laughs> um, Skylar actually thought that the farm was gonna be all black, like all the dirt would be black, all the leaves would be black, the trees, the fruit, the veggies. She thought literally the color black. So I felt so bad. I was like, oh my God, am I doing a bad job as a parent? So we opened up the conversation to the girls to make sure they understood what we were saying and they really did. I was so proud of Devin and I because although Skylar was confused about that, they really get it. Like, we have to support our um, people because in the past we haven't been like supporting our um, our um, people and we never noticed. And now we are because we noticed that we weren't supporting. My mom explained it this way. So um, me and my mom and dad and Skylar represent all black people and the people next door represents everyone else in the world. And mo when mom cooks dinner for us, um, it wouldn't be fair if she went to go next door and fed um, the, na the neighbor instead of us first. So, Cause we are her family and um, family is more important than like somebody else that's not like part of your family. So you had to, so my mom would be a bad mom if she didn't feed us first. So she has to feed us first and then the, um, the people next, the family next door. It's okay to feed other people, but you have to feed your family first and then feed the other people. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm gonna tickle you. Air tickles. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. I want more questions. You do? Yes. <laughs> they were not the type of parents that are trying to teach our kids to hate other races. Like, that's not what it's about. We just want them to understand that we have to support our community the most the majority of the time but we can still shop elsewhere because it's hard to just shop black we just aren't that far into it and it's sad because we've been here for so long like it is time i think this time is different than any other time i think people are really starting to be more aware and i'm so proud of us like yes it's taken a lot of time to get here but i'm very i'm a very optimistic person and i'm just so proud of us so if you are watching this I want you to understand that you are powerful. Like you are powerful. Just you by yourself, you are powerful. And you need to understand that you making changes in your life is a big deal. It is a big deal. So, you know, baby steps. I've been watching Pam of Coils by Nature. She does a lot of live posts on Facebook and Periscope and all that. I watched her and I'll leave the link below so you can watch her because oh that girl had me buying up everything because I just felt so powerful after listening to her 
I bought the um, laundry detergent that she mentioned, which is called the True Product. Um, and it's a laundry detergent. It's a black owned business. <laughs> and um, it made me think, like, I buy some laundry detergent from Walmart. I don't even know the name of the brand. It's like I don't even care. I just always buy the same one. The black owned laundry detergent. Every black person in, this, in the United States, everywhere, should have this product. That is such a small gesture, but us all doing it is huge. So, girl, I bought some, even though they're already sending me some because, um, of course, Pam, of course, by nature, that's my girl. She's always supported me, and I feel so bad because I don't think I support her enough. I mean, we use her beard products, and um, Devin and I are good to do that, like, tutorial in this video, so um, stay tuned for that. But I'm like... I don't support her. I don't go hard enough for Pam. And I feel so bad. And, you know, I was buying up everything. She knows a lot of places where you can buy your everyday needs from black owned businesses. And, you know, hopefully you guys understand how powerful that is. Like, why? We always should support ourselves first. Ourselves first is so important because us supporting these businesses if we all bought the true um laundry detergent that company will be so busy with sales they will have to hire people to fill that demand so when you're spending it's not just about you spending and then that company profiting off of that it's not all about that it's also about supply and demand and if the supply is high in demand, they have to hire people. And Pam said in her um, live feed that black owners or black businessmen always hire black people. So, I mean, seriously, I don't understand why we are always constantly trying to prove a point to white people, basically. Like, we want to be hired by that amazing company that's owned by a white person like why do we always strive to want to prove something or to make it seem like we're more special because we got hired by a white person or because we were able to go to that school or you know what i mean or get that white girl like you feel privileged and you shouldn't feel privileged over things like that we need to be more proud of us be happy that you got hired by that black owned business be happy that you um help that business grow we just need to be more proud about us you know and i don't know i don't want to ramble too much but you will be seeing more um content from us promoting black businesses because that's what we should be doing um but anyway i'll link pam's live feed for you guys because she can she spoke so much life into me I love you, Pam. Like, seriously. I talked to her on the phone today, and I told her, I said, I love you. Like, seriously, she's amazing. So, I'm going to do everything possible to spread this newfound knowledge to you guys. Um, thanks for watching. And, yeah, I'm waiting for Babe to get home. When he gets here, we're going to do his beard. So, I hope you guys are ready for that. I love doing his beard. It's so sweet. I love him. But, anyway, yeah. See you in a second. Dragonfly, he's trying to find safety. You'll never find safety. Oh my god, he's trying to get inside. Sky, oh don't do that with your arm. Oh my god, he's trying to get, he's trying to get inside. It's, and it's a blue one. He's like, we need safety before I get dropped. Like I said, I was so excited for Devin to get home because we are going to be doing his beard. Yes. With coils by nature. Yes. We're serious about this. This is not for show. We are like going to go hard, right babe? Hard for the black owned businesses. And we've been using coils been, by nature for a minute, right? Yeah, it's been the last couple of months I've been using it. So, and I actually really like the brand, so 
I'm not just using it just because it's black on like I really use it and I'm getting my uh, beard done tomorrow so you gotta wash it and take care of it before you you can't just like dudes be having long beards they don't never wash them it be stinking like yeah. what are you doing <laughs> like come on man we gotta show you uh, my my regimen what I use before I actually go to the barbershop so this is everything I do before I go to the barbershop to get it chopped up yes okay um, oh, and then we did, originally we did this on Devin's Snapchat. Yeah, we do did. Your, do your Snapchat thing. What was my Snapchat? When you say Snapchat. <laughs> oh, yeah, on Snapchat. So, which way? This way? Yeah. Boom. Y'all been following me on Snapchat. Y'all been following me on Instagram. You know what I mean? <laughs> Y'all don't have to find <laughs> yeah. Instagram logo. So, that is, hey, keep, keep following. Keep doing everything you're doing. We love it. To get started, we are going to try our best to not be that messy because usually we're like all over the place. We're like in the kitchen, in the bathroom, back and forth, but we're gonna try to keep it, you know. Um, today's vlog, we basically, for you, Devin, because you haven't been here, you were at work. Mm -hmm. um, we just recorded some commentary to our vlog. Remember when we went to the um, restaurant? Mm -hmm. Um, the Jamaican restaurant so we just recorded like some commentary on that and talked about how we weren't trying to um, confuse our girls with black owned businesses mm -hmm. so just to let you know what this vlog is about but first we're gonna spray his beard hopefully I won't spray him too much oh is it cold it's good it's oh I think it was still some cold in the nozzle right here I think it's warm now so I'm just gonna saturate his beard Tutorials are always more confusing than real life because we're trying to film it. Um, Pre-poo sounds like a funny name. <laughs> a pre-poo is um, basically um, how you... Girl, don't even have no more pre <laughs> Pre-poo is basically just if you put like an oil or a conditioner on your hair first before going in with any type of shampoo. Just so the shampoo won't strip the hair or make it like more, basically more strip me like real like stringy and mm -hmm. straw like because we want it to stay soft, you know. Mm -hmm. But Quiz by Nature, their products are so good that you don't really need to have a pre-poo because they already have those amazing oils infused in their products. <laughs> How many pumps do you usually do, babe? Three or four. And you guys, this is so soothing to me and obviously to Devin too because <laughs> I don't know, it's something, you know how we always say we have hair, um, hands in hair syndrome, like our own heads? This gives me so much satisfaction because it's like I'm just playing in my own head because it feels similar to my natural hair. His beard is more um, rough. But it's what you trying to say? What, babe? It is it's rough. It is, it before is. you wash it, it's like it gets really dry and rough. But oh my god, this is so soothing. <laughs> babe, no, seriously, stop trying to ignore me. What are you talking Step about? Now. Your eyes look amazing. Thanks. And your teeth and your beard. Thanks. So do you. I don't I'm trying to see what's under there. <laughs> Stop it, Devin. I'm editing that uh, out. That's too much. <laughs> you said it up. I'm about to do my Q&A. <laughs> hey. 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 So next, we are going to be using... This is the moisturizer. What? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I don't need that much. There you go. Somebody said in one of the videos, that's why your back be hurting because you got bad posture. You do. <laughs> I can't help it. I told him to sit up like 50 times already. Oh, satisfying. Is it? It is. Oh my God. It just feels so good. Taylor Sky is staring at us, y'all. Yes. Beard butter. I love it. 
I love the smell of both of these too. I love the smell of the whole collection. Mm -hmm. It's like a, I need to open it back for me, babe. It's like a, a to me it's like baby powder. <laughs> again, a little, rub it in your hands. And again, try to get it right on the, the root area, the skin. But of course you do want to soften up the um, hair as well. For uh, guys that struggle with hair bumps, there's a bunch of stuff that you could do for that. I'll make sure you keep the um, ingrown hairs out of there. Um, I take Devin's ingrown hairs out too and he likes it. Mm -hmm. And you have to um, make sure you with like, proper, properly clean your clippers and all that. Don't be letting people use dirty clippers on your neck. That's how you... Because my skin is real sensitive when it comes to that kind of stuff. I, luckily, I don't have a lot of uh, facial issues with you that. Don't. But, but, you don't. But really as far as my um, my neck and the ingrown hairs and all that, like I definitely inherited my dad's skin when it comes to that uh, sensitivity. Don't forget that. the mustache. Right, mm -hmm. Beard oil. This is the beard oil. The, this is what's going to keep it nice and... Moisturize, make you know, bling bling it out. All my naturalistas know that oil is the last step because it seals in, locks in the moisture. The main ingredient in this product is Jamaican black castor oil, which that helps the beard or hair in general grow, it helps it thicken. Oh, and if you have any like bald patches, if you put the Jamaican black castor oil on there every night it will definitely make your hair grow and i i'm we being real i right. got patches over here like in this part don't really grow like that and over on this part so the rest of it grows out but in no in those areas and where it comes from fellas we're picking with it or messing with it and which I'm that's guilty what he does. i'm guilty of both of that and it comes from also picking your beard while while it's dry like super dry so, you don't want to do that. Babe! I'm oh. so proud of you. This is all step. I mean, these are... Oh, put your head over. This is everything that I say in my hair tutorials. So, here's an additional step. You don't have to do this. You can do this step while you have shampoo in. But it's also a good step for when um, you have oil. If you have oil, because that helps stimulate um, hair growth as well, because the oils are penetrating, the vibration is making the blood flow in these areas, and it will increase hair growth. But you have to do this like every time, like every day. And this is the best time to pick your beard when it's moisturized like this. And you don't got to pick it real hard. You don't got to pull out no hairs and all that. Just get it where it need to be. Boom. Okay, so we're all done. All done. I'll let you do the outro. Before I go, here's my food for thought. Um, don't share too much. Some, some things need to be done in silence. Make it move in silence because you can miss out on your blessings just trying to tell people and impress the wrong people. With, with everything that you're working on and everything that you're doing. So make those moves in silence and let your blessings come to you the way they're going to come. Make it happen. Be great. Positivity will be the new wave. Thanks for watching the big video. Fellas, I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm giving y'all something. I don't care if you got a little beard, a big beard, a little, you know what I mean, splotchy beard. You know, we, 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 all, we all connecting in some kind of way. So thanks for checking out the videos. Keep watching, hit that subscribe button, and I'm out.